think spring finally happened. I'm gonna try and show you something. I don't know if I'll be able to capture it or not because they're bloody fast. Look, up there. Probably gonna get ambushed by it in a minute. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but our swallows are back. They're back and they brought the sunshine with them. And the sun has been here for two whole days now. It hasn't rained two days, two solid days. I actually got a little bit of sunburn yesterday. I couldn't believe it. To be fair, it wasn't that intense of like a sunny day. I think I'm just so accustomed to it being overcast and rainy that my skin was like, what the hell is this? UV, what? It was quite funny, but I think, I think the weather's turning. I'm really happy. Fly rugs are on, as you can see. Oh, Woodster's made that his own already. Um, yeah. So I got the fly rugs out yesterday. Woody's got his on. Um, I haven't put one on Nelly yet. I tend to like to see how she goes without one, but I've noticed she is struggling with bugs in her crest. Um, she always gets attacked for some reason. Like her body will be not too bad, but they always attack her up in here. Um, and she's been really itchy. This looks minging at the moment because I put a load of pseudocreme in there last night, um, just because she'd rubbed it a little bit sore. So uh, I might have to go ahead and put a cover on her as well. It's just... Ugh. It's so sad. I like to have naked ponies. They love being naked, but we live in such a buggy area that they just get absolutely savaged by the insects. Mr. Blueberry has what's left of his sweet itch rug on from last year. It doesn't have a neck anymore, but it's fine that we've got the Snuggy Hood's sweet itch hood on him. He doesn't want to say hello to me right now because I was late giving them breakfast. <laughs> He's like, I'm starving woman. What have you done to me? You all right, Baloo? So yeah, he's in that. Sweet Itch routine has officially started. He's having his um, benzo, benzo slosh wash a couple of days a week now. Plus he's having stuff put on in between that as well. I feel like his hit is really hard all of a sudden. Um, and I have a horrible feeling. Ah, oh, kamikaze pigeon. Hi. Crazy bird, what are you doing? Man, that's really bright. But yeah, I have a horrible feeling this is gonna be a really bad insect year. Oh, the neighbors have got to turn out. There's a horse over there going nuts right now. I was so happy. Sadly, our fields are still very wet. We seem to have the wettest fields along here. Like, I feel like we're always the last people to have turnout in the spring, which is really depressing, but we're nowhere close still. Um, oh, swallow's back. I love it when the swallows come back. But yeah, I've got a horrible feeling it's gonna be a really bad year for Sweet Itch um, because we haven't had those hard frosts to kill off all the insects. Um, and actually, we've had Sweet Itch attacks pretty much all throughout the whole of winter, so Blue, um, he's not looking great this spring. So normally by about this time, his hair is fully grown back and he's really calmed down. And obviously the cycle's starting to begin again, but normally he's like, he's settled by now and we're on top of everything and he's looking really good and pristine. He's not this year. He's got a stinking bolt patch. He's got a really sore crest. Basically because there's been midges out throughout the entirety of winter. Um, they haven't gone away. Where it's been so mild and so damp and we haven't had those frosts, they just haven't gone away this year. It's been really rough. And I know equestrians everywhere on YouTube right now are saying this, it has been a rough winter. It really has been a rough winter. It's been hard going. It's been so wet. That horse next door is going nuts. You guys probably aren't gonna be able to see it from this distance because this camera doesn't zoom in, but it's all the way over there. It's just tanking it. Absolutely tanking it, living his best life. That'll be you guys soon, won't it? You know, it'll be a test to see whether or not your leg's going to hold up to you prattling around, Mr. Woodster. Yes. Ah, oh, so once again, I don't actually know what my plan is for today's video because I never think these things through because it's me. <laughs> it's rodeo in now. <laughs> oh, oh, and Stumpy's doing it in. You having fun, Stumps? So Stumpy's down on the driveway at the moment. She's doing some tidying up for me because it's a mess down there. There's bits of grass growing everywhere and I haven't tidied up my haylage area very well. So she's just gonna spend the day down there and clean that up for me because why clean up hay when you have a pony who can do it for you? Logic. Um, but yeah, other than having a good tidy up, I don't know what my plan is for today. Um, so I ended up with an unexpected week off work starting today. Technically it's actually like mm, eight days, I think. Um, eight days, nine days. It's a, a, basically a week off. So our manager put up on the whiteboard the other day that, that he had availability for two people to take leave 
next week. And um, for the first time in my life ever, I got there first. I was like, oh, I actually have the week after next week. This is awesome. I'm really hoping the weather stays like this because I have so many jobs to do. I need to do a couple of tip runs for a start. Um, it would be nice. Now the ground is drying up a little bit to see if I can get out there and do some fencing. I'm not too hopeful on that one, to be fair, because it is just so wet. But you kind of want it like a 50-50 for putting fence posts in. So I don't need to do that many fence posts. Um, most of the posts that are out there we're going to reuse. Some of them need replacing because they've snapped off, but there's not that much posts that need putting in. I didn't do that sentence very well, did I? You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I'm just a bit cautious of the fact that I don't want to tear the ground up because the grass is actually growing now. <laughs> it's actually starting to green up out there. The bottom fields are looking a lot better. I don't think I put any seed on this one, or did I? I can't remember. I know I put grass seed out in the autumn, but I can't remember which fields I did. This out here is growing like crazy. I don't know what's going on out here. Maybe the seepage from the muck heap has spread its way out. I don't know. I literally don't know, but we've never had this much grass in this little patch of paddock before. This is awesome. Um, so I'm feeling happier about the grazing situation. So obviously we didn't get our fields muck spread last year. I mean, we've only ever had it done once. Like the one year we had it done was the best year ever, but we've only actually ever had it done once. So, I mean, you know, we're kind of going to be back to where we normally are, but I feel like we were really spoiled last year because we had it done and we had so much grass. I'm a bit gutted that we didn't get it on there this winter, but it is what it is. We have a plan. So the muck heap, which is currently just exploding over there. It's hideous. It just, it needs to go. The ground needs to dry up so we can get that thing shifted. Well, that's actually going to be going in the pig's old summer paddock down on our bottom field, right down by the motorway, down in the corner. It's kind of no man's land. That's why she ended up with that patch anyway, because there used to be like blackthorns and hawthorns and everything that grew down there and lots of brambles. And the grass doesn't really grow very well down there. It's just kind of really rough, cruddy ground. Hence, we gave it to the pig. Perfect for the pig, because she can tear it up and do what she wants with it, and we're not sad about it. But that is going to be a new mucky area down there. So we're going to get that shifted down there, and then hopefully, maybe in the summer, I might get a couple of the fields spread. So potentially, we could extend our winter grazing. Like, because we got it spread in Harrow last year, I noticed that the ground held up against the rain a lot better. Um, so I am slightly tempted to get a couple of fields done, sort of like, earlier than the autumn and then they'll get a chance to rest and the grass will grow and then we'll have in theory later grazing into the winter in theory might not work out like that but i don't know we'll have to see what the weather gods decide to do to us this summer got a funny feeling it's going to be a really hot one um we've spent all winter whinging and moaning about the rain and now i feel like the universe is going to go huh you don't like rain well we'll give you no rain all summer then i feel like that's going to happen because universe is a dick anyway i need to do something i'm waffling with you guys about absolutely nothing need to get stables tidied and we need to take these beasties out for some rides which is feeling peckish again this is just our thing at the moment apparently i park him up at the stone to get on and he turns the hedges for me no you can't you can't go any further mate because there's a ditch there he would happily go in the ditch to be fair because you're strange, aren't you, bud? So I've obviously just tacked up and got on, and um, yeah, kind of feels like it's going to start chucking it down. Right, shall we? Woody. So my plan for this little uh, hacking vid was actually to talk to you guys about saddle pads and girths and stuff. Um, we are trying a different saddle pad combo on Woody today. Uh, so we've got a Roma pad we're doing today with a Prolite riser um, just because like we hadn't quite nailed the saddle pad thing for this saddle yet um, and playing around with different things and my plan was to talk to you guys about that today but my brain has just died like it's just completely given up like I've tried three times now to start explaining to you guys what I've been doing um, and the issues we've come up against and how we're working through them and some of the research I've done uh, but it's just not coming out right. The brain is scrambled, basically. Absolutely scrambled. I think my antics from last night are catching up with me now. Oh, another car. Good boy. At least he's walking on nicely now. We've, I think we've gotten it through to him finally that we're not just going to snack the entire time. We are actually going to walk on. 
we had a little bit of an argument on the way up the lane, didn't we, Sausage? And I had to give him a flap with, with Mr. Flappy Flappy here because he was completely ignoring me and just stuck his face in a hedge and wouldn't move, which is very cheeky. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, my brain basically died. So I think I'm gonna have to save that for another video, guys, basically. <laughs> It's not happening. It's just, the words are coming out wrong. Um, so basically, last night I went, um, I went back to training for the first time in like, I think we worked out. It's like two years coming up, maybe three years, something like that. Um, so training with the armored combat guys, well, girls I should say, because there weren't any guys there. It was just girls last night. <laughs> um, so yeah, I went up and basically I wanted to test the waters. So I've been working on fitness lately. It's on. And yeah, it's something I really wanted to get back into. Um, and I wasn't sure if my body was going to behave enough to do it. Uh, so I've mentioned in a fair few videos now that I have problems with hormones and body just generally misbehaving on that front. Um, and yeah, it's kind of the main reason I actually stopped doing it a few years ago because I just didn't have the strength or energy or brain power on some days to just physically do the sport. Um, so yeah, I went down there last night and it was really good fun and I got a bit carried away and I woke up this morning and I was fine, like absolutely fine. And now, uh, whatever time it is, got to be getting on for four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, now my body is going, Oi, you've done bad things last night. Now we're going to make you suffer. And I'm very tired and I'm very achy and I feel like I just want to take a nap. I'm not gonna lie, if I was on Nelly right now, I'd probably just lie down on her and take a nap, but I'm on Woodster, so I have to sit up and steer and stuff. <laughs> Otherwise we're gonna just, well, he's not gonna go anywhere to be fair, he's just gonna stick his head down and eat, isn't he? Aren't you? You're just gonna eat, because that's the mood you're in. But, oh, I am tired, very tired. Get on dirt, it's just a van. Oh, he's got mud in his mustache as well. <laughs> yeah. He's been dirt licking. He's, he's, there's like a little strip of dirt um, by the fence where the concrete ends, like in our yard where we tie them up. And they like to lick it for some strange reason. They all do it. I don't know why they do it. But he's basically got big muddy clinkers in his mustache now where he was dirt licking. the horses yet because he's definitely in um, scatterbrain mode today. Do you know I think we might turn around up here? Come on bud. Come on bud. Keep going. Come on, trouble. We will pick a snack spot when we're nearly home, but we're not going to keep doing this grabbing stuff as we're walking past thing anymore because it's getting a bit cheeky. Thank you. Look, there's a trailer. Good boy. Well done. I knew it wasn't actually going to scare him. Like he's not scared of trailers. I just wanted to make sure he's actually seen it. Steady. go for a trot in a minute, wouldn't you? Yeah. Good boy! Oh! You alright? Steady. I think there's a storm coming in. Don't tell me there's another storm coming. I've had enough of storms. I really have. Someone's feeling spicy now, huh? Yes, we are. We're feeling very spicy. Good boy. Oh, 
too fast, my darling. Woody does like trotting in this saddle. <laughs> it's like he's found a whole new gear. I mean, look at this. This is a Nelly truck right here, right? <laughs> Bloody hell, he's extending. <laughs> Oh, I thought I was going there. Oh, one stirrup nearly went. Yeah, Woodster, uh, oh, very up, big man. Woodster found a new gear with this saddle. today, sir.